Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna to be testing something a little bit wild, a little bit wacky, a little bit different. We've got, let me read it for you, Privy Partisan PPU, their match ammunition, 223 Remington hollow point boat tail 69 grain. We're gonna shoot it into ballistics gel at 100 yards and see what it'll do. And here is the box for that PPU match 69 grain ammo. There's not a whole lot on Privy Partisan boxes. This one does have a little bit of promo information right there. You can stop, pause, and read that if you would like to. Basically, they're just saying that this stuff's supposed to be really accurate. So let's flip it around, open it up, and try and take a look at some of the shells in here or cartridges. I'm sure someone will whine in the comments that I called it a shell. Comes in a blue plastic holder. Let's yank one out. Let it focus there. I mean, there you go. Just a standard 223 Remington round with a hollow point. Let's go shoot it. And the test rifle today is my CZ527 carbine. It's got an 18 or 18 and a half inch barrel. I don't exactly recall. Chambered in 223, of course. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my leather cartridge pouch cuffs, which incidentally perfectly holds a CZ527 magazine, coincidentally enough. So it works for that as well. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that PPU 69 grain hollow point load. And we had some really interesting results. So first we'll go on back. I flipped the blocks on their side so you can see the bullets better. We've got one bullet way back here uh, sticking out of the block that didn't ride the table or anything. It just, it just cruised onto a stop right there, sticking right out. Absolutely zero expansion whatsoever. It stayed together pretty much like a full metal jacket. And then we have another one that's a little hard to see. It's right there, and it's right on the inside of the bottom of the block right there. That's actually like half of a bullet. The tip broke off somewhere. And then coming on over, there's another one that came to rest just right there poking out of the block. And that one did not expand or, or break up at all either, just like that one. So let's look at penetration. And penetration wise, that one is at right about the 19 inch mark. The one right here is about 24 and a half inches. And then this one right here is at 27 inches. So a lot of penetration, but zero expansion. And then coming on over to the first block, we did get some kind of explosive wound cavities in here. The bullets would go in and then right about the five inch mark, you can see right here, it's, it's a little hard to see, but there it is. It's a really, really wide explosive wound cavity in there that opens up really quick and then closes. And it's the same for all three. There's another one, there's one, and there's another one on the other side of these two. And I think what's going on here is that the bullets are going in once they get about oh five to six inches deep they start to tumble and that's what is causing that because we didn't see any expansion i think we're seeing some tumbling here so let's pull them out and take a look and let's take a look at the velocities for that privy partisan 69 grain hollow point boat tail match ammo out of the 223 our high was 2743 our low was 2666 and our average was 2702 and here we are looking at those Privy Partisan 69 grain hollow point boat tail match bullets as recovered from the ballistics shell. I mean, these aren't hunting bullets. They're not meant to be hunting bullets. I just thought it would be fun to shoot these into the gel and see what they would do. So let's go ahead and hit the metrics. Weight retention, we saw 69 grains, 68 grains, and 34 grains respectively, which works out to 57 grains on average. That's 83% weight retention. And of course, the two bullets, the one on the left and right, basically retained all their weight they didn't break up or expand at all the other bullet broke in half so that is what it is and then expansion wise 
zero real expansion. We didn't see any real expansion with these. On to velocity, our high velocity was 2743. Our low was 2666 for an average of 2702 versus the factory build velocity of 2855. So we came in 153 feet per second slow. No real surprises there. Almost all factory ammo is coming in way under the factory build mark. Now we did shoot these out of an 18 inch barreled CZ bolt action. And I'm sure that this factory velocity is based off of a 24 inch barrel. So it is what it is. And then on to penetration for whatever it's worth with this particular ammo. We saw 19 inches, 24 and a half and 27 inches for an average of 23 and a half inches of penetration. And then kinetic energy wise with a 69 grain bullet going on average 2,702 feet per second, we're looking at 1,118 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Privy Partisan 69 grain hollow point boat tail match ammo out of the 223. This was kind of a silly fun test to do. I just happened to have some of this ammo and I figured, you know what, I might as well shoot it into ballistic gel and see what it does because sometimes your target ammo, your match ammo, sometimes it performs very interestingly on ballistics gel. Sometimes it performs more like a hunting load. This was not one of those loads that did that. This performed more like a full metal jacket bullet. So what we saw, weight retention, 83% weight retention, Two of the bullets didn't break up at all. They were completely intact. One of them broke in half. Not really surprising with a match bullet like this. You, you kind of don't know what's going to happen. And you can get some varying results from bullet to bullet. Velocity wise, we came in a bit slow. But again, that's no surprise at this point in the game. I've done so many of these tests. Almost nothing comes close to factory rated velocity out of the most common barrel lengths that are being used out there. I was shooting this out of a CZ 527 carbine with an 18 inch barrel. We came in 153 feet per second slow. whoop de doo I don't care. Velocity is the last thing I'm actually worried about. And then penetration wise, we got 23 and a half inches on average. And for what this bullet is, you know, who really cares? It doesn't matter. It's just a match target bullet, um, but it's a metric to look at. And then kinetic energy wise, it came in at 1118 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. A lot of your 223 loads that are meant for deer hunting come in around the 1200 foot pound mark. And that's not what these are meant for at all. This is just a match bullet, but it's just something to compare to and talk about. Um, just kind of a silly fun test with some ammo I had lying around. I personally wouldn't use it for anything besides target shooting. But interestingly, we do have some other match loads coming up. Some other, you know, training hollow point boat tail type loads for the 223 coming up that performed very, very differently than this. So stay tuned for those. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me how can you be a part of this and help support the channel. Well I got to work and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.